We started the concept in 2007, but it wasn't until 2009 that we actually got things underway. Because we, we, we got a grant from uh, Critical Ecosystems Partnership Fund, uh, CEPF, uh, to start the book project work. And <clears throat> that's because the, the range, it's so vast, much larger of an undertaking than the Western Ghats. The, the, the Western Ghats was like my backyard. Now here I was in a completely foreign landscape, an epic landscape, and the mountain range, the area that we covered, stretches over 1,600 kilometers long. And each valley, it takes days and days and days of travel to get from one location to the other. And most of it, you're either driving or you're walking. You can't just fly from one place to the other. You, you just have to physically get there. It, it was a lot of work, but it's all fun and exciting work because everything I was seeing was new. Everything I was seeing, things I had never seen before. So it's always, for a photographer, I think it's always exciting to photograph new things and discover new things. Network. We actually, during one of our expeditions, <coughs> we discovered not something that was new to me, but something that was new to science. So this, this one, this lizard is called a Japalura. J-A-P-A-L-U-R-A. It's a genus of uh, highly specialized leaf forest lizards. And when we found this one, it didn't match anything that was known in science. For you know, we, So even now, as a matter of fact, the caption says a lizard without a name. It doesn't have a species name. So this is a brand new species. And that's the exciting part about working in the Himalayas, coming across all these new things. Uh, not just new species, we also documented new behavior that was never seen before. That's a tiger feeding on a dead rhino. So uh, this one, it also won one of the, uh, a special award by the BBC for animal behavior, because that's how rare something like this is and show you the amount of time it takes to get one shot. So there's been times when I've sat in one position, in one hide for seven days to get one image. And luckily I got that image. It could have been that I spent seven days there and got nothing. And I think people would be fascinated just seeing the grandeur of the mountains and uh, the new species. And it's just, all of this natural wonder in one place. And, I, I, and what I hope to do is inspire the audience to take note, to care about a place like this. And I don't think I would need to do much, just show them some beautiful images and I think it'll connect with people. Total excitement. Uh, it was just the term explorer. It's always been one of those things which, where you imagine you know, some guy going through some dense rainforest and coming out with some new species and things like that. So that the, the concept of an explorer has always been something that was fascinating. So to be recognized as an emerging explorer itself uh, by National Geographic is quite an honor. So when I found out about it, I was uh, very thrilled. Okay. Oh, absolutely, I think my, my time at UTB with the Gorgas Science Society and the Gorgas Science Foundation, it it created the kind of foundation that I needed, uh, the trips to Rancho del Cielo. All these things just molded me into the, the person that I am to get me to go out and discover new things and do what I'm doing here today.